Lee and welcome to another video with Blocks Builder. And in today's video, we're going to do an overview and a setup of Off Canvas Helper version 2. Now, version 2 has been completely rebuilt from the ground up to be way more powerful. And one of its key features is now support for multiple Off Canvas menus. And so there is a slight change in the way we set up our Off Canvas now. Um, which we're going to run through. So what I have here is I have a, just a test project for us to um, play with and we're going to use this um, to go through our options and to just explore what we can do with OH2. I have also on, on this um, website just a, um, a basic, whoop, got a padding error there, uh, just a basic button um, saying menu which we're going to connect up to our off canvas menu. So I'm going to come along to our blocks project and what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is add our off canvas helper brick. And if you're an existing user straight away, you'll see there's something different. We can see in here some feedback and it says no off canvas set. And so what we're going to do is we're going to assign um, or connect this to the ID of our off canvas and you'll see it reflected here. It gives us a nice visual clue of what these options are controlling. It'll make sense as we go along. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, our off canvas menu block and um, just I'm using the bare bones one here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly just add some content that we're going to use. OK, there we have it, just um, a list of items that are going to, um, these three here have got scroll to links to IDs on the page, rather um, straightforward. The next thing we're going to do now is we're going to assign an ID to our off canvas um, menu. And I'm going to select that in the layer tree here. Now, it's important not to select the block, but the actual off canvas menu, which is inside the block. And we're going to give that its own ID and we can call this whatever we like. I'm just going to call this main menu. And then we're going to come back to our off canvas helper brick. And under the assign off canvas, we're going to toggle this to say main menu, which is the ID we set. Now what we're doing here is we're saying, hey, the, the options and the settings here are going to apply to this off canvas menu. And you'll see here another option here for a tick box saying nav plus connect. And at the time of recording this, our nav plus extension hasn't been released. But when we do, all you need to do to connect is tick that one box. And that's simple as that. It's all automated. So uh, for just connecting our normal off canvas menus, we just use our IDs. OK, so we have our, ID, our, our off canvas helper brick connected to our off canvas menu. Uh, the next thing we need is a way of um, triggering it or opening our off canvas menu. And uh, the way we do this in OH2 is a little bit different from the first version. So I have my button here that I'm going to use to toggle my menu. And I have a class here that I use to style it, which I call BTN menu. And you can call that whatever you like. So I'm going to use this class to identify this button to open this menu. OK, so we're going to do that with another brick that is part of the off canvas set that comes with off canvas helper. And that is off canvas linker. So just going to add that brick there. And so uh, we get this, these uh, visual feedbacks again in the brick. brick and it's uh, telling us uh, that we haven't assigned a class or assigned an off canvas ID. So we're going to do that right now. If we come to the options for our linker brick, we'll see that we can actually uh, use the blocks toggle. So that means that we can use the bootstrap menu system. And you could assign when it collapses down to um, to the blocks hamburger. You can actually we can actually set it so that that hamburger will open an off canvas menu. So you can design a really nice mobile menu um, using off canvas helper as well. It's pretty handy. But in this case, what we're going to do is we are going to assign that class for the button that we made, which is um, BTN menu. Now, the cool thing about this field is it, it will format your classes. So as soon as you start typing, you'll see the, the, the dot, the period before the class. And whenever you do a space, it's going to add a hyphen. So uh, this makes sure that your formatting is correct. So we want to say BTN menu. So what we've told Linker now that this button is going to do something. And what we're going to tell it to do is that this button is going to be assigned 
to our main menu of Canvas. Okay, that's as simple as that. So just to run you through, we've got our Off Canvas helper that has been assigned to our Off Canvas menu. And then we've used Linker to say, hey, this button here is going to trigger this menu. And the cool thing about this is that it means you can have multiple trigger points on your page from uh, menu buttons like this to uh, links within your content. Um, it makes it incredibly flexible for um, a bunch of things. Okay, so we now have our button assigned. We have our menu assigned. If we go and preview this, and um, actually what I might do is just fix that padding issue there. We'll get rid of the padding. Okay, we'll preview that and we'll come to our browser, refresh our browser, and now our button should open our off canvas menu. There we go. And we have our menu and our items that we selected. And these should all scroll to the anchors that we set. Okay. Right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the options within the brick itself. Back to our project, off canvas helper. And you will see these we've got these awesome um, options for layout and behavior and we can set our start our, our position for our off canvas menu so, so we have um, start in top and bottom so that's left and right of the page and top and bottom um, and because our, our toggle bottoms our toggle button is on the right hand side we're going to set it to end we can set the speed that um, the transition happens for opening and closing our off canvases we're going to set that to 600 we can set um, sticky nav offsets for our um, nav bar here and, and now this uses um, the ID selector. Um, now a lot of these options I've gone through in, the, uh, in our previous off canvas tutorials so I encourage you to go and check those out because a lot of this information is the same. Um, hide menu button, what that does is it will hide our toggle button uh, when the off canvas menu opens and makes it appear again after it closes and uh, because now we can set uh, multiple buttons or trigger points for our off canvas that will hide whichever one triggered the off canvas menu okay full screen off canvas that kind of is uh, self-explanatory it makes the, the the menu full screen um, allow page scrolling which means um, that when the off canvas is open you've still got scroll control of the page itself and um, stay open on scroll to ID is kind of handy. Now you saw, um, let's, uh, for example, let's go back to our preview, um, where I use a scroll to ID there, but when you use, uh, automatically closes the off canvas menu where you scroll, when we have this set to stay open, what that means is that when we, we scroll down, our off canvas menu will stay open. Okay and another little feature there. Uh, we have a new feature called Fit to Height CSS. Now this is more useful for having um, off canvas menus that are uh, from the top or from the bottom. And what that does is it constrains the height of the menu to the content. Um, and it will do that dynamically to uh, whatever the, 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 the content, whatever space that our content will occupy, it will, um, it will set the height of the off canvas to. And I'll give you an example, um, if we go and preview this with that set, we can see that now the off canvas menu is only the height of um, the menu itself, which is kind of, you could you could create some interesting things there. For example, we could come here and um, with our off canvas selected, we could add a margin top and bottom. So we could go margin Y auto, which is a, a bootstrap short um, utility class that just adds margin to the top and the bottom. And if we go and look at this, we'll see that our off canvas is actually positioned directly in the middle. So uh, you could also, you know, do margin top auto and it would put it at the bottom. So there's, there's a whole bunch of things that um, you could use this for. Um, but again, it is it is um, better suited for uh, top and bottom off canvases. But you could you could let your creativity go a bit wild there. We have a normal keypad navigation, which uh, you can opt out of, but it's best to leave that on. And our maximum width. And so this is uh, using off um, Bootstrap's convention um, that the standard Bootstrap um, off canvas is 400 pixels wide, 
and it's dynamic. So as the viewport gets narrower, it's going to, um, if it gets smaller than 400, it's going to become 100% and it dynamically flows. So you can set the width there to suit um, however wide you want that to be. Uh, but 400 is the bootstrap normal. So if we made this, for example, 600, you'll see that our um, menu is a lot wider than it was before. Okay, we can reset that. We have an option here for our backdrops where we can assign um, colors and we can also set a blur. So we could apply a blur to our backdrop and now we have that horrible color and we have our backdrop that's blurred and we can of course turn that off so there's no backdrop. Now this is really handy having no backdrop because what that it does allow is it allows users to still interact with elements on the page when the off canvas is open. And so this is where you could have something set up such as um, or allow page scrolling and then also you could um, say open on scroll to ID and uh, let's view this in a browser. And we're going to open our off canvas menu. So we've still got full browsing. We've still got interaction with the buttons and elements on the page. We can see our menu. Um, and of course, we can scroll to items within our page and interact with it. So this just gives you more flexibility in how you design your menu system, how you design your interactions on your sites. OK, let's come and have a look here. Uh, navigation links, this is the same as an off canvas one where you can uh, disable current links. So uh, I've set that on to on and our opacity to 50%. And if we go and look at our menu, we'll see that our home icon there is now disabled. You can't select it. Actually, it's probably going to be more visible in the browser. We can select our other options here, but we can't select our home one because that's linking to this page. So that's um, quite a neat indicator as well. Okay, let's disable that. We have our usual smart actions on close, um, which is uh, closing our drop downs. And if you look at our tutorials on Off Canvas Helper, you'll be able to see how these work and how they function. And of course, our smart action for forms where on when the menu closes, you can have your forms reset <clears throat> or the content remain within the forms. A new feature with um, OH2 is that we have better index uh, Z index control. So you can select the stacking level of your off canvas menu as well as what we had previously, just our sticky nav. So we've got a lot more flexibility there. And you'll see here a visual clue of the Z index of our backdrop. So um, I'm using um, Bootstrap convention here. So as we change this, say we made this 1070, we'll see that our backdrop has changed to 1065. And if we made this 80, 1080, it goes to 1075. So really you can't, you don't need to change the backdrop. Well, you can't, but um, it gives you a visual clue on um, the, the hierarchy if you've got some ZX and, and issues, overlapping issues on your design. So I'm just going to reset those. Um, so uh, here we can add our, um, let's make that 60. Here we've got our accessibility, our ARIA label. Now, these accessibility options, they will actually um, affect our button or our trigger that we're using for our off canvas menu. So what this will do is it will assign, let's go back to the menu. Uh, it will assign an ARIA label of whatever we write here to the actual button itself. So and here I've just got toggle main menu. And this is explicitly needed for screen readers so that, um, you know, for accessibility, they understand what the button's going to do. And the other option here is create a button tag. Now what that does is it corrects any markup um, that's only an anchor tag or an A tag um, because the correct uh, markup for an off canvas menu is for it to be a button tag. And so what this will do is it will correct the markup um, on the page so it, 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 it's best practice accessibility. And you can enable or disable that, whatever you want to do. And then we have uh, special classes, which we've got some information about those in our off canvas tutorials. Um, but now we have this option where you can assign 
um, or you can you can create uh, class names that suit your however you want to work. So uh, we've got menu section and active, but you can change these to be whatever you like, and it will be reflected within the code of Off Canvas Helper. And then of course we've got our extras here where we can change the color of the brick, which is actually kind of handy. Um, especially when you start building up and you've got lots of um, off canvas menus uh, on your site you can actually link these together so say uh, these two belong together and i'm just going to assign them the orange color and so visually you know okay this linker belongs to this um, off canvas helper and it's just a nice visual way once once you've got these stacked up if you've got two three four off canvas menus working on your site for various reasons Okay, that's the very basics on um, how we set that up. I think that is all our options. We have a couple of links here also. Uh, we, with a click of a button, you can go and see our off-canvas tutorials on YouTube, the playlist, and also to our contact page on the Blocks Builder website. Okay, so that's a quick overview of um, Off-Canvas Helper version 2 on how we set that up. And um, we'll do a couple more videos on some specific things Okay, have a fantastic day.